and welcome back to linuxjobai.com where we teach you about getting Linux jobs and what you need to do to get Linux jobs. So whether you're a seasoned system administrator already or you're a newbie just trying to get your first Linux job, what we do here is prepare you for the interviews. And if you're taking the RHCA exam, Red Hat Certified System Administrators exam, will also assist you in preparing you for the exam so you don't have to pay twice. It's, expensive. it's an expensive exam, so try not to pay twice. My own name is Shonmi Joseph, and my email is shopopolos at gmail.com, and I will be preparing you today. Let's get started. So first, we'll go to our website, linuxjobber.com, and uh, if, we look at the, if we look at the question number six for today, we would see its data protection and reliability. And these are the videos that has to do with data protection and reliability if you want to look at them. But for this tutorial, we'll be looking at the practice exam, the practice test that will help you prepare for job interview or for Red Hat Systems Administrator's exam if you're taking it. Now, if you look at this question here, you will see that it has to do with uh, creating partitions. If you're taking the exam, expect this to be about 25%. Uh, 25 points I'm, I mean to say of your total exam here it will be counted as six points but expect it to take 25 points on the RHCA exam now the question says to create a basic Linux partition of size 300 megabytes for mounting in this place format the partition and make a file system on it and then mount it for me I will not be using 300 megabytes for this tutorial I would be using 1.9 gigabytes because that is what I what th that is the space I have and I don't feel like um, breaking it into pieces but the process is the same so don't worry about the size whether it's 2, 4, 10 megabytes the process is exactly exactly the same so I will be getting started and I will be showing you what you have to do to answer this exam. So let's get started. So here as our sysadmin, Jason, we will use this tool called FDisk to deal with partitions. And I will now use FDisk, do it, we do this as root, so sudo um, FDisk. And then um, Let's say we list first. Okay, let's find out why this user is not able to see FDisk. So the reason is that um, SBIN is not in the user's path. So I put SBIN in, the u in this user's path and then it works. So now, as you can see, all of my, um, I have SDA, SDA partition, SDA, SDA uh, physical disk, and that physical disk is partitioned into five parts. And I have to pick one of these to use because I already have my four primary partitions. To not get into the details of this, I will just pick one and I'm going to pick this one here. This partition number three, and I'm going to delete it so I can use it to answer my question. So let's get started doing that. We'll put uh, fdisk in there, fdisk uh, dev sda. So we're using fdisk to to um, manage that partition dev sda. And then when you type that, you get the command um, prompt. And then if you hit M, as the question says, as the screen says, you will see that um, Let me move my screen up so you can see what's going on on my screen. Okay, I hope you guys can see what's going on on my screen right now. So now, if you hit M, this gives you all the options you have. What I want to do quickly is that I'm going to delete 
that partition number three. It's asking me which one I want. I want number three. So if you print now, you can see that that partition is not available anymore. But if we look at that partition from where it was before, we see where the sector started and where the sector ended. So now let's take a look at that. We see the sector started at 12.89 and ended at 15.43. So right now, that's, that part is gone and SDA3 is gone. So now when it says to create a partition of size 300 megabytes, I'm going to, to create a new partition, type new as the as the command option that's available on FDisk, new, add a new partition. If you look at it here, use N to add new partition. So I type N to make a new partition. Then it asks me what I want. It's a primary partition, so I'm going to put P. And it's starting at 1289. The still in there is starting at 1289, so I don't have to change anything there. So I'm just going to hit enter. It's already ending at 1543, so I don't have to change anything there. But if you have to change it, you just take a look at where it starts and where it stops over here and just put it in there. So you just hit enter and done. I've created my partition. So if I hit print now, you can see that it, says it starts at 1289, my cylinder, and it ends at 1543, the cylinder. And I, just, I have to write it. If you don't write it and you hit quit, um, FDisk won't do anything. So we have to write it. But now before we write it, um, let's write it first. And then when you write it, um, you can now use it to, you can now use it by mounting it. But if you look at this thing, this one in here, it wants you to reboot. Again, I won't get into the details, but it's better to reboot or use Power Probe. But reboot is better. So I'm going to reboot and I'll post my screen while I reboot. Back at my screen. So we're back at my screen and I hope you guys can see my screen now. And I switch back to our administrator, user JSON. And if we look at our partition table now, so let's do sudo as bin f disk dev sd a you can see what we have and I'm gonna get out of here and now we need to um, make that partition we need to format it so I'm going to format it using makefs and I'm going to create a using makefs and I'm going to create I'm going to use extension 3 okay so do make fs I'm going to use extension 3 I don't know if this user has um make fs so let's take let's take a look let's see if the user has make fs make fs extension 3 so it doesn't have it let's see if we know where it is mm. it's been make, make fs okay so it's in here, so we're going to do sudo make fs has been make fs dot ext three dev sda three our partition. So we're trying to format this partition sda three. So now let's run that and it's going to do what it does is that it created the partition and now we can simply mount it and then we're done with that question so let's mount it and and we and then we're done with that question and that part should be very 
It should be simple. It should be fairly simple. So, where are we going to mount this? Where are we going to mount this? So let's go mount this on mount. Oh, first, I think the question says to mount it. It gives us where to mount it. It says mounting it up the part, part, format the partition, make a file system on it. We already formatted the partition. We already made a file system. We just have to create the mount point and then mount. And then we'll be with that question. So make directory so um, let's do this as root sudo make directory opt pract part good no errors so now we mount there so now let's mount Let's use sudo and then we'll, we'll mount. We have to put the extension 3, otherwise, we'll get an error. We're, we're mounting dev sda3, the partition we just created, on the partition point on the uh, mount point that we just created. So, part part. Let's see if it mounts. Mounts. No errors. So we're done. That's easy enough. All right. That ends this video. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice one. And if you have any questions, like I said before, my own name is Sean with Joseph and my email address is shopopulous at gmail.com. Please feel free to send me your questions. Remember, this particular question is very likely to come up on your Linux interview. Um, most employers want you to know how to create partitions because it's very useful so you really will need this one to go into most interviews so please give me a uh send me an email if you have any questions thank you very much for watching and uh, have a nice one